Hey everyone, welcome back to John's Watch. Today I'm taking a look at a game I've actually played quite a bit before called Slay the Spire. Now, it launched on Steam in Early Access on November 15th, 2017. Um, I played it pretty early. I think, I think I played it a little bit earlier in 2018, so I kind of missed it right at the start. But Sean Heatherly actually requested that I take a look at the Early Access version of it. So I'm taking a look at it now and then I'll probably take a look at it when it comes out in full release, as long as it's not in like a week, when it probably won't change too much. Uh, its regular price is $17.99 Canadian, that should be about $15 US or your regional equivalent, and it's developed and published by Mega Crit Games. If you don't know what Slay the Spire is, it is a roguelike combined with a card game. It's very similar to Hearthstone's dungeon run mode, but uh, far more fun than Hearthstone's dungeon run mode, I must say. When I played it, there were just two classes, and I found I really enjoyed playing the... It was like the Thief or something, um, but I think they've added the third class. I haven't looked at any... any gameplay of the third class. So I might try that out. We'll just do standard. Oh, crap. Well, I still, <laughs> still have never beaten the game, actually, funnily enough. So, hmm. Okay, this is the silent, I think. Yeah. This is the one I'm really used to. So I'm gonna I'm gonna play as this one. We'll see how far we can get. Hello again. Um mm -mm. What's our starting relic again? Star Beach Combat draw two additional cards is pretty good. We don't want to get rid of a card right now. Sometimes it's useful to remove a card. Not for a while yet. We could lose all our gold and get a rare card to start with. You might think, like, a good idea would be losing your starting relic, obtain a random boss relic. If it's not good, you just restart again. If you restart the game without finishing Act 1, you don't get a random choice of these things. So, you, you can't, like, save scum in this game at all. Uh, let's take a rare card. Um, mm -mm -mm. This one's pretty good. Yeah, we'll take, take Reaper. Die, die, die. Exhaust just means that the card is removed from your deck until the end of that combat. Okay, so we have to make it all the way here to the boss of Act 1. Uh, if we want, we can just go a very linear route on the left. Gotta see what we want. I don't mind an early Elite. They're they're pretty, pretty decent. We can only get there if we go here. I do like all the question marks as well. Question marks are really good. So yeah, this looks pretty good. Delete and then a bonfire. Let's start here. So we'll start with a regular fight. Okay, so... We can see what they're going to do. He's going to do a negative status effect. Not the end of the world. He's going to attack us for three. So what we can do is... You know, gain five block there. Um, each card takes... A certain number of, of mana, basically. Energy. We've got three per turn. So, we could block him. Or we could just do two strikes and just kill him dead. So that's what we're going to do. And at the end of our turn, we'll get rid of all these cards and shuffle them back into our deck. And we'll draw fresh ones next turn. We don't get the extra two. Um... Yeah, if he was... Well, we'll, we'll actually neutralize because it costs zero. So we're going to strike and then neutralize him. Which will weaken him, which means he'd do less damage. So he's made us frail, which means we take more damage, I believe. Oh no, gain 25% less block. Die, die, die. Plus... We can't actually kill him this turn. But we can get very, very close. Yeah, I'm a little bit out of practice. Probably been a few months since I've played. Well, there we go, strike will kill him. Bam. Uh, you also have a choice to ignore a bunch of the rewards if you want. Uh, let's take a card. Was well, a good one here. Um, pretty much when I play as a silent, you never know what kind of deck you're going to build at the start. 
Um, like poison's really good, but obviously it's not good if you don't have a bunch of poison already. So we'll hold off on getting poison. Um, four block for zero is just pretty good. I think we can upgrade that to like six block maybe for zero. So here we go. Pretty pretty difficult already. He's going to buff himself. Uh, we don't have to worry too much about that. So we're just going to do strike, strike, naturalize. Um, right now, if we gain block at the start of our next turn, it will go away. There is a perk you can take later on, which means that any block you take will never uh, go away throughout the duration of that fight. So like right now, playing block doesn't like, playing any of these doesn't actually matter. Because it's all going to go away at the start of our next turn. Kaka. So yeah, it's all gone. Okay, so he's done Ritual. Which is actually very, very tough. Um, at the end of his turn, he'll gain 3 strength. And I think this lasts for 3 turns. So if we could weaken him, that would be okay. I think what we're going to do here... It's just double block so we don't take any HP damage, and then die, die, die him. So it's, it's fairly hard to recover from HP loss. See, so yeah, now he's doing 9 damage. And we can't quite kill him. So we'll block all of that. And now that's set us up, so we just need to do a draw 2 strikes and we'll kill him. Oh, okay, that sucks. So we are actually going to just block pretty much everything there. Yeah, so we won't do the damage. We just need one strike and we'll kill him. There's the strike. And we also got naturalized as well. Phew. Done all that without taking any damage. Dagger spray is very good, actually. I'll take that. So here's the, the question marks. It could be a random encounter. It could be a gremlin. I don't think I've seen this one before. Gremlin is madly shuffling cards on the table. The monster seems to be a harmless one. You approach him out of curiosity. 12 cards. Match them to keep them. Five tries, no do-overs. Are you ready? Let's start. Oh. So we play a mini game. Okay. It's a good start. Naturalize. Predator. Okay. That was it already? I thought I thought I got five tries. Jeez. That sucks. Oh well, we got lots of encounters like that. Hopefully. You fall into a puddle that's made of slime goop. You claw yourself out over several minutes as you feel the goop starting to burn. Uh climb out you notice some of your gold is missing. Looking back to the puddle, you see your missing coins combined with gold from unfortunate adventures mixed together in the puddle. We can deal with losing 11 HP for a bunch more money. Like, we can heal up here. Obviously, full HP for the Elite would be good. Let's transform a card. That just means, like, we'll basically get rid of it. Oh, we added these to our deck. Oh, crap. Okay, we want to get rid of that. Oh, it'll just turn into another random curse. Crap. I feel like we can do better than this. Let's see. Secret weapon. That's not bad. Okay, time for an elite. This could be the end of the run already. Oh god. So artifact negates one debuff. It's kind of like divine shield for debuffs. So like if I wanted to weaken this guy, the first one wouldn't work. So we need to block nine damage. So probably double defend. And then... Doesn't really matter who we weaken, because we have to wait for Naturalize to come back after we shuffle our cards back in for it to actually affect them. So they're adding... they've added four dazed cards. Uh, choose an attack from your draw upon, place it into your hand. 
That is free to play. And Dagger Spray is very good here. We're going to take a shitload of damage here. We're going to take 14 damage because we can only block four of it. In fact, like, this is all we can do. There we go. We can almost kill him. This could be pretty bad. We could very easily lose here. Especially because when we shuffle these in, there's going to be so many days in there. Oh, yeah, well, he's dead. Uh, it might be worth just taking a little bit of damage to try and get rid of some of them. Okay. I'm trying to get rid of him first because his attack's probably going to come around again before his attack comes around again. It's pr that's a very good hand, actually. Because we can actually just play all of this. Yeah, we're actually blocking all that damage. There's so many dazed cards in here. Like, soon we're just going to draw and it's just going to be all dazed. Not bad. Uh, this will actually kill him. We didn't. We shouldn't have done that because Dagger Spray would have killed him anyway. So we could have done an extra three damage there. Oh well. He's still going to die to just one strike. That sucks, but we're okay. Because we were able to block it all. Just need one strike. There it is. Bam, we did the elite. Which means we get a relic. 25 gold ornamental fan. Every time you play three attacks in a single turn, gain four block. That's pretty good, actually. And, I mean, it's okay. Like, we can probably trade that away later if we have to. Attack potion is pretty good. Nice potion. And we can have... There's another poison one. Mm, it's pretty good. Deal six damage for each attack played this turn. So like if we play two slashes, or strikes or whatever, that'll be 12 damage from those two, and then 12 damage for one energy here. I'll go for finisher. Okay, so... Yeah, we need to rest. Oh, heal's almost to full. Ooh, we got chests coming up. Ah, oh, nice, nice, easy one to kill. Sort of. Um, we were definitely deflecting. Now, do we grab another... We could probably grab Weaken, right? Reinforce, or Neutralize, sorry. Doesn't really matter, because we still have the extra defend. Oh well. We take no damage. And that's fine. He's going to block and attack for 7. Um, we could just go for tons of damage here. Fine, we're going to do that. Bam. More damage for each skill in your hand, we've only got one skill in our deck. None of these are great. We'll take this one because it's poison, it might be useful later, but if not we can probably just trade it away for something else. Do we want to do another elite? Let's get a merchant. Yeah, let's do the elite because then we go bam, bam. Molten Egg, whenever you add an attack card to your deck, it is upgraded. Holy shit, that's fantastic. Okay, there we go. It's just a, just an encounter. He's going to attack for seven. So we want to pull Weaken. Okay. 
It did like half his damage there. And he's also buffing himself. He's going to inflict a negative effect, which I guess he already did. He weakened me, annoyingly. Twenty health, though, not bad. Can we kill him this turn? No, because all we have is block. Uh, defend and survivor. Well, he's not getting through. He was going to do twelve damage as well. But now we're not weakened. Uh, that is enough. Phew. Close one. So bam, yeah. Um, our attacks are automatically upgraded, which is great. So we get dagger, uh, dagger spray plus. Deal six damage for all enemies twice instead of four. Uh, let's take that one. This is such a good one, holy crap. This is, choose one of three random attack cards to add to your hand. It costs zero this turn. That's really good, actually. Okay, he gains eight block at the end of his turn. So he's not going to attack us. I think if we get rid of all his block, he'll wake up. So this will wake him up, I think. So there we go, he's awake. But he's stunned because he's kind of changed forms. So we don't actually have to worry about... Um, uh, blocking anything. So finisher should do 18 damage here. So he's stunned, he'll just skip his turn. And next turn he's going to attack for 18. So survivor. Not much we can do, we're just going to have to eat a lot of that damage. I don't remember if we have campfire afterwards, no. But we can go like here, 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 and here. And we should be safe. Also, I guess we're desperate, we can use this. Probably want to save it for the boss. Yeah, we'll just take it fairly slow. I'm gonna take it. Deal 7 damage X times, I believe X is the amount of energy you've got left, so that's pretty bad for us. Or it's like how much energy you spend on it, so like if you've got 3, it'll do... If you like start and play it, it'll do seven times three. Um, yeah, let's take glass knife. This is 18 damage, right? Or 16, sorry. And does that just get shuffled into our deck for this game? That's kind of cool. Or for this fight, this encounter. Okay, so it's just gonna negative affect us. So we're going all out with attacks. Just needs to do 13 next turn. Okay, that's gonna be hard because all our attacks are gonna do less now. So close. We should have him next turn, no problem. We're taking a bit of damage. But as long as we can heal up before the boss. There we go. For his nag, whenever you need a power card to your deck, it's upgraded. That's great. Let's take another dagger spray. Those are great. Merchant, we've got 186. That's pretty good. We can actually grab an artifact or a relic. Start each combat with one strength. Wow. Never worry too much about the cards. But yeah, I'm going to take that. Uh, we can't even afford the sale one. Okay, good. So yeah. No encounters. Oh, it's a mushroom room. So we either fight them, or we heal and become cursed. I'm gonna heal. Oh, another merchant. Don't think we'll be able to afford anything. Nope. Smith, I'd like to, but we should heal before the boss. Here 
Okay, we got Slime with a top hat. So his thing is, when he reaches half health, yeah, it'll split into two smaller slimes. So when he reaches 70, he'll split into two slimes with 70 health. But if we can get him to like 71, and then next turn do a ton of damage, get him down to like 60, he'll just go into two things uh, with, with much less health. So he's just going to negative affect us. So we're going to go all out with attacks here. Obviously everything does a little bit more damage now, because we start with one strength. Does that go away? Oh, gross. Yeah, no, we keep the strength. That's great, that was a good buy. Okay, he's not attacking, so... I'd probably rather save that. No, I totally should have played in Venom first. Slime Crush. Yeah, I want to save the, the Reaper attack. Oh god, he's gonna do 35 damage. Hmm. I mean, we can play everything we want here. We're playing a little bit of poison. So we've played five poison right now. So that'll do five damage and it'll drop this down to four. And that's how poison works. So we dropped him below half actually, so we blocked that 35 damage. So these guys also split at 50%. So let's weaken him. And take the three damage. Bam. And unfortunately all the poison disappeared once we killed the big slime. Frail, so I can't do much blocking. He's attacking a lot. We can get him below half though. So since he's already below half, what we can do is just blast him down even further. So he should go into two things with either 10 health or 3 if the poison hits first, which it does. So he should just be two things with 3 health. Nice. Okay, he's attacking again, but Dagger Spray will take him down far enough. In fact, Die 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 will just finish this. Yay! Perfect! Don't know what that means, but we did it! Oh, I haven't seen a couple of these before, actually. Oh, that's really cool. I like that. And we also got to choose a relic. Ooh, that one's interesting. Gain energy at the start of each turn, or you can no longer see enemy in and you can no longer see enemy intents, like if they're gonna attack or something. That sounds horrifying. When you would die, nope. You can no longer gain gold. Yep, that one's a good one. Okay, um, we are in Act 2 now, the city. That was a look at Slay the Spire. We managed to do uh, Act 1 pretty pretty well there, I think. Um, this game is fantastic. I really, really do love Slay the Spire. I haven't played it for ages, but um, I, I really just wanted to wait for it to come out in, in full release and then try and really get back into it. But yeah, this was uh, definitely still fun. Uh, I will most likely be taking a look at it when it comes out of early access, as long as, like I said, it's not in like two weeks. Thank you guys very much for watching, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!